Speaking about boy shit, um, I asked some of my closest friends, uh, I told them I was doing a podcast with you and I asked them, is there anything you would like to ask Madison Beer? And one of my closest friends, I think I can share my screen here and then you'll see his Instagram or maybe you, yeah, okay, this is him. Emil, it's one of my closest friends. He asked me if I could give you his number. <laughs> I'll take anyone's okay. number. I don't mind. Sure, there's no guarantee I'll text him, but. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? It's been two months since I've posted my last episode of this podcast, and not all of my podcasts will be in English from now on, but I will be trying to invite some international guests, uh, so those will be in English. Some things that have changed, I have a new studio. This podcast isn't recorded in that studio yet. Something I've already said on my vlog channel is that for every subscriber I get on this channel or that vlog channel, I will be donating two cents to the Center of Suicide Prevention here in Belgium. That's it. Enjoy the episode with Madison Beer. Okay, so Madison's team is waiting in my Zoom lobby. I've never been nervous before recording before. Damn, bro. Um. Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Damn. I'm just now realizing how shitty this webcam quality is. Why? Well, You're fine. You're okay. Fine. <laughs> Thanks. Well, um, before we're starting, is there anything? I have some uh, questions written down, but is, are there any questions that come back a lot that you're just tired of so I can avoid them? Oh, gosh. Uh, no, you're fine. Okay. Ask away. Whatever Perfect. You then I'll do my intro and we can uh, officially start. <laughs> okay. What's up, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Gossip Guy Podcast. My name is Anders Scholtens. Today, I'm here with Medicine Beer. What's up, Medicine? Hey, so how, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm great. Now um, you're at home. I'm at home because of COVID. Well, I'm in Belgium. So I was wondering for the Belgian viewers, have you ever been to Belgium? I have. Yeah, I've been to Belgium a few times, I think. Yeah. How do you, what, what's your opinion about the country? <laughs> do you um, like it? Yeah, I, I like everywhere I go. I like everywhere. Um, that's primarily not the U.S. I like the U.S. too, but like whenever I travel outside of it, I'm always like, okay, this is dope. I feel like I actually did like this. I'm looking it up because I, my brain is a little bit fried from how many things I've done, but I, can't, I think there's a picture of me that I, hold on, I can't find it. Well, I know that I did, um, I've been to Bel, I went and did a show in Brussels. Okay which I loved. And that was like my favorite show of the entire tour. Honestly, it was like super small. It was 200 people, I think, but uh -huh. it was one of the best shows ever. And I remember falling in love with Brussels, but I've been somewhere else as well. I just can't remember where it was. A city in Belgium another, or? Yeah, it was another like major city. I just can't remember, but I know I did my tour in my Ashley Places tour I did in Brussels, but I, okay, think cool. I swear I've been somewhere else in Belgium. Yeah. Anyway, is there anywhere else you would like to travel once COVID is over? Um, What's the first place you're going? So many places. Yeah, I want to travel all over the place. Um, mm. I miss the United Kingdom a lot. I love London. I'm like mm. a huge London person. So I'm, I miss the UK and I, I would love to go back to Brussels. I think I haven't been since that um, concert. So I would love to go there. And I just want to travel, period. There's so many places <laughs> I want to go to. Like I'm yeah, just thinking to go anywhere. Okay, I feel you. First, uh, well, last question uh, I'm going to ask you before we talk a little about the album you're, uh, that's coming out. Um, have you been following the whole meme stock, uh, GameStop situation or not? No, really? I haven't been. And I keep seeing this like Dogecoin and all that stuff. <laughs> like, what, is, like, what is this? I have no idea. I have zero clue what it is. Well, it's Reddit trying to fuck with the system a little, but you haven't oh, invested. God. Or, I love that. Fuck with the system all they want. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I've but no you haven't invested doing. yourself. No, I've never done that. I don't. It scares me. Yeah, so yeah it's, it sounds so complicated, right? Yeah, I'm just. I, yeah, I don't. I don't do that kind mm. of stuff. But I, I'm. I want to read about this like whole thing because it seems really funny. Okay. Well. Anyway, the album okay. Life Supports coming out on uh, 
February 26th, I there think. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us something about the, the album? Yeah, it's, um, it's my story over the last year or two. And it's just like an honest articulation of what I've been through and um, what's happened and whatnot. And I'm just super excited for people to finally hear it because I've been listening to it for almost like a year and a half now. And so I'm just super excited for it to finally be coming out and hope everyone loves it. <laughs> I think they will. Um, well, anyway, I was wondering, there's one song that recently came out, Boy Shit. Yeah. Could you um, define what boy shit actually is? Sure. Well, it's a play, obviously, on the word bullshit. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it would be, uh, you know, because I've texted with friends before and been like, you don't need his bullshit. And mm -hmm. then I'm like, you don't need his boy shit. Like, I feel like that's just a funny, like, little tongue in cheek term to say. And yeah, we just like thought it was super, like, funny, honestly. And it, it was just like a new word that I wanted. I was like, oh my God, I have a word in the Urban Dictionary that I just invented. So um, so you actually invented the word? Well, this girl Taylor did. She goes by Upsall. She invented the word. And okay, okay. I was like, yeah, we have a word in Urban Dictionary. But um, it's it was not a word prior to us making this song. Oh, okay. No. But That's I will cool. give her full credit. She came up with the term boy shit. <laughs> All right. And boy shit is like, Oh, I've been thinking about you or what are you doing after 11 p.m.? Is that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's definitely boy shit. Mm. Now, speaking about boy shit, um, I asked some of my closest friends. Uh, I told them I was doing a podcast with you and I asked them, is there anything you would like to ask Madison Beer? And one of my closest friends, I think I can share my screen here and then you'll see his Instagram or maybe you. Yeah, okay, this is him. Emil is one of my closest friends. He asked me if I could give you his number. <laughs> I'll take anyone's okay. number. I don't mind. Sure, there's no guarantee I'll text him, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll send contact. it to you. Perfect. I'll send it to you. Yeah, it's one of my closest friends. It's from uh, the friend group we call the Yabis, which probably makes no sense What to you. Yeah, it's it's just it has different meanings, but we use it as a different word for friends. So it's just a funny it's word. Like your friend group. Yeah, yeah, we're usually really picky about who gets to be in the friend group and who doesn't. Uh, but if you, you would like to it. join like the Gabbis, it's not a frat house. It's not a frat house. No, it's, not a frat house. <laughs> it's just a group we hang out with when uh, when it's legal. Because now, uh, well, we can't really do that. Yeah. yeah. Would you, if you would like to join the Gabbis, we were, uh, we, we agreed that you were the only one who was still able wow. to join. Wow, that means a lot to me. I would love to join. Okay. I would love it. And then Perfect. when I come to Belgium, we'll like do my full initiation. Hey. Everything. <laughs> we'll party. Sounds great. Yeah. Are you planning on uh, doing another tour once it's with yeah. this album? Yeah, I am. I'm definitely like really keen to doing another tour mm. and I want to get out there and performing is what I live to do. So I definitely want to head on out there. I think I'm, I miss touring more than anything. I miss my fans, mm -hmm. just seeing them and like hearing them sing my songs and it's just so fulfilling and I definitely want to get back out. Yeah. Well, about this album, I got a link from your management to hear all the songs. Is there one, I, I like them by the way, is there one song that is your favorite on the album? It changes like every single day, honestly. Okay. Um, I love them all. They're all my babies and my children, basically. But um, right now I'm really into Sour Times. That's been the one I've been listening to okay. the most. Mm -hmm. all yeah. right. Is there a specific reason or just, you know, like no, you said, I've it changes? I've with this album for so long now that it's like, it just changes all the time. Like mm -hmm. literally every other day, it's something different. Okay. Now, I don't know how much time we have left, so, and I usually uh, keep this question to the end of the interview, but is there anything you would like to share with the world now that everybody <laughs> is listening? Everybody Something, in the yeah. whole world. Yeah. Um, just that I'm excited, and I hope everyone loves the album. I hope that it makes you feel good, and it provides you with some sort of healing and helps you get through a tough time, a fun time. I hope it gives you songs you can dance to, cry to, laugh to, whatever it might be. 
And um, yeah, I hope it impacts you in a positive way. Beautiful. <laughs> I think it will. Thank well, um, there's something I was, I was um, a question for the promo of this is this podcast. Would you like to make a TikTok with me? Sure. I have a really a stupid idea. So I, I photoshopped a, a small picture of me and you. I just put my head on a photo from you. Um, okay. And I'm just going to film the screen and say, some people say this photo of me and Madison is fake, but it isn't, right? And then, right. You, and then I click to the Zoom call and you say, no, it's 100% real. Got it. <laughs> Such it. a stupid idea. Thanks for that. Uh, oh, it's good. I like it. All right. So I've been showing this picture of me and Madison Beer to a lot of my friends and all of them say it's fake, it's not real, but it is, right, Madison? Yeah, it's definitely real. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> of course. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, it, it was. Well, um, I wish you a lot of success with the album. I hope to see you um, once you're in Belgium, uh, in Thank real you. life, that, that is. Yes. Um, we can recreate the photo and stuff. That would be awesome. <laughs> and maybe like um, if, if you're ever, ever going to do a show in, in Brussels, we can maybe do a real life podcast. That would be awesome. Yeah, I would love that. 100% yeah. we could. Perfect. Okay, well, thank you. I'll let you hey, go have a good one. Thank you. Thanks for, make, uh, thanks for your time. Of course. Bye. 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 I, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.